why isn't there one of these in England or in Britain since Britain is the home of the Beatles and rock and roll and everything else. At that point we just have 15 years of Manchester being the centre of the world music industry. Um, and I said I have no idea and my father and other mates said no idea. Got on the plane and halfway home to England she said if I started one of these would you help me? So I've been helping her for um, 15 and a half years. You've got hardship to do it, did you? Yeah, they've done one of our tracks for us. Right. And, uh, Fantastic. Yeah, so. Cheers, man. Cheers. Um, if you had been here on the very first day, you would have heard Bob Lefsetz, the American blogger whose twice daily emails tell the entire music industry what's happening, say to a bunch of young musicians, don't give me any fucking CDs. Because when you come to these events, you get about 20 of these a day. And Bob didn't want any because, as he points out, if someone tells you about it, then you'll go and see the band, isn't it? Say hello to the camera. It's, it's Moritz, right? Fine. And she's ignoring this because we're having a slight breakdown here. Um, this is to show you what can go wrong in these events. Um, we are trying to use modern technology. We couldn't get him to go from San Francisco, obviously, to actually talk to him over a webcam system. Please pick up your fucking phone. <laughs> this was a band like Joy Division uh, at ITC. Uh, I think, no, I wouldn't, wouldn't sign them because I'd fall in love with them, but there'd be a, a, a gadarene rush of A&R men watching them. And one of the problems of In The City, and I've had it a few times, is a band that I come across that I love, they kind of want to play in the city, and you think, well, they should play in the city, but then other people will see them, so it's a difficult balance. The spirit of freedom has got to remain where you can literally... That's the great thing about MySpace. And it's open to everybody. Everybody gets to shout. And at our, we will lose so much of that spirit if we again make it a matter of you have to have a publishing deal to be on there. Hi, I'm Paul King. I was managing Tears for Fears, Level 42, and of course Julian Coke. My name is Jeff Travis, and I'm the co-owner of Rough Trade Records here in Manchester. The lovely thing about my life is there are loads of myths. So I remember being told by a researcher at Granada, the television station I worked for for 30 years, that um, wasn't it amazing that I used to read the news, I had read the news on acid. Um, I was very impressed. You can't read the news on acid, but um, the fact that there was that myth was quite good. So the fact there's a myth now that I told someone to fuck off live on camera, is also quite funny. Uh, in fact, my career with Granada closed about two years ago when supposedly off-air, having had a disastrous three-minute news, news bulletin because there were no red lights on the cameras, and unless there's a little red light comes on there on a live TV program, you don't know which camera you're on. So I was moving from camera to camera, uh, waiting for a red light to come on, and luckily my director saw that I was, it was confusing and the eye lines and shouted you're on camera one, so I delivered the final link to camera one. We then cut away to the item, I was off air, and I said, camera one, where's your fucking red light? Will you turn your fucking red light on? Uh, unfortunately, not only was the camera lady a bit behind the uh, eight ball, the sound man, a very nice old sound man, had been away for three months, had come back and no one had told him that his mute button wasn't working. So, um, these, um, what I regard as professional exhortations, went out live on air, and the bulletin was a 3.30 bulletin, so it was the middle of children's ITV. It leaves me with a very proud thing to say that um, uh, one of the 473 complaints, the best one was a, a lady from Cheshire who rang in to say that her four-year-old son was running around the living room screaming at the top of his voice, Mummy, where's the fucking red light? <laughs>